Kanare, uh, Kanare Mogume, this is Big Talk. This morning, we keep the spotlight on the opposition party, the Forum for Democratic Change, a party that now has two executives, two chairmen, one sitting at Katonga, another sitting at Najanankumbi. Uh, members of the executive has been holding parallel activities, delegates conferences, national tours. What does this mean for the FDC? What does it mean for the broader political opposition in this country? And can Katonga FDC actually carry through its threat to dissolve FDC as we have always known it, which now sits at Naja Nankumbi? I mean, one section of it, the people that claim to be in charge of that FDC, sitting at Naja Nankumbi. To discuss that with me this morning, I have, um, from the extreme end, Ingrid Turinawe. Could you say hello to us and uh, maybe a brief introduction? People forget. Uh, hello, <laughs> viewers and listeners. Uh, Ingrid Turinawe. I am FDC, PO Box Katonga. I am the national mobilizer and former Women's League chairperson. I'm happy to be on the show. Tune in. I wish you a good viewing. Thank you. We have the Honorable Jack Saviti. You remember him as a former member of parliament for Ruchiga County. A lot of things have happened since, but he's now. Uh, let, let him introduce himself. I'll let him do the honors. Uh, Jack Saviti, a Ugandan, a member of FDC, a founding member, and the chairman of Forum for Democratic Change. And last but not least, former minister, former member of parliament, elder, academician. Professor, you're most welcome. Thank you very much. That's it, Sabaza Nakabwejere. Um, an interested observer and a participant in Uganda politics. We're coming to you live on Next Radio and on NBS TV and on other social media platforms. Follow us, uh, send us feedback, give your comments, and let's have a conversation about the politics. The FDC dissolution, can it actually happen? Um, let me start with uh, Professor Bazana Tassis Kabwejere. You've been observing, you've been a part of Ugandan politics for a long, long time. Right now, Ingrid and, uh, and, and Jack sit on different sides of a political party that emerged, um, beginning with reform agenda, but registered in 2005, one of the very first to get registered, and uh, as we opened up the political space. Hardly 20 years down the road, uh, one is uh, P.O. Box Katonga, another is FDC, I would imagine P.O. Box Najanankumbi. Yes. What's your reading of this and what does it mean for the broader politics of this country and our foray into uh, multipartism or pluralism? Uh, first of all, I didn't uh, imagine I was coming here to do the anatomy and physiology of FDC. <laughs> but it is part and parcel of our body politic. Mm. And if I were to be the anatomist or the surgeon <laughs> or the, the physiologist, let it be. Uh, first of all, um, if you really are going to understand what is going on, you have to understand the history of Uganda. This is not the first time that this is happening. Mm. The question is why does it happen? Divisions. People have come together before and then they separate. Then they separate, they become hostile, enemies even. This has happened. And so not only in Uganda, it's in history. It's in history. Lucifer was in heaven and he ended up being chased and he went away with some of the angels and they have never stopped harassing quote unquote God's territory. So this is not surprising. The issue, however, is, is it good for us as we talk now? I will be very frank with you. 
that uh, what is happening to FDC has happened to all the parties we have had in Uganda before. Mm -hmm. Alliances form and they disintegrate. Look at the history of UPC as it started and developed and how it ended. Look at the DP. In fact, the UPC is very, very dramatic. It's alliance with the Kawaka huh? to get power. And then soon after, it separates. And you know what happened if you are a historian. So it's not surprising that uh, division comes about. The question is, why do they come at a particular point in time? Mm. Yes. The issue of power. If we understood that power is a very, very uh, liquidified resource, you can't hold it into your hands easily, especially when you are looking for allies. But if you want to use the power to solve problems, then there are certain things you don't do. And that's why I would come very anatomically to say, FDC is showing very, very clearly that its capacity to address problems of Uganda is in question. Because the UPC tried, and we know what happened. DPC, DPC, uh, DP tried, you know what happened. NRM has tried, we know what has happened. Hmm. Divisions have come but somehow they haven't disintegrated the NRM. Why is that? Focus on issues, focus on problems, problem solving. The moment you become a problem solver, you address a problem solving, there are certain things you don't do. Uh, what would you say to an argument that people will make and say in reference to the NRM, that possibly the problem with DP with uh, FDC, I'll um, excuse UPC for a moment, is that they have not had the opportunity to get the power and what has held the NRM together, because Jack Sabiti was a senior member of the NRM, you are together, before yes, he yes, yes. broke away to create FDC. Ingrid was in NRM before she moved to join FDC. Yes. Now that uh, FDC has splintered again. Never hey, you've never been in NRM, sorry for that. But there are many members, many of the founders of FDC, once belonged to the NRM. Yes. Some of, men of the founders of uh, ANT, for example, once belonged to the NRM. Yes. So those are splinters that uh, got away from NRM. It hasn't remained solid, uh, as you would say, but it has kept control. No, the issue of solidarity. NRM, if you compare it with all the actors in our political, on our political field, it has been the most solidified. Mm and there are reasons why, and you, you can explain that. When President Museven talks about the goals, unity, industrialization or transformation, you know, African integration, those are focuses. People move away, they can move away, mm. okay? But the core stays. The core stays. You see, what is happening, what has happened to DP, for example? Hmm? The, the, the core, the core is not there. The core is not there. Now, if, if, what we are talking about now with even uh, FDC, the issue is whether there is a core and who is holding the core. Because you see, what has happened with NRM is that people come and go. But the core is there. There is a continuity. People come, some of, the, some of these people may come back to mm. NRM mm. because there is something solid that has... The center is holding. The center is holding. Mm. And why is that? It's not just because of a leader, although that's very important, but it's also because of what the ideology is all about. Because the target is problem solving. Mm. Problem solving, demands that you have to ignore 
distractions because you are up to solve problems. One of the things I can say very loudly, many of the parties we have in Uganda have one problem, Museven, remove Museven, remove Museven. And that's not Uganda, the challenge. It's not, that's not our problem. But Even if it was our problem, it's not the biggest problem. There are problems which are going to be here, whether Museven is here or not. There are problems which have been here when the British were here. There are problems which are going to be here when Jack and, uh, and Ingrid are no longer here. There are problems which need to be solved. Development. When, when uh, Bessie was walking to work, I asked, are you walking to get jobs? After walking today, at the end of the day, do the jobs come on the market? If you don't solve a problem, you can play your games. Ingrid, let me come to you. Uh, Professor Kawajere talks about something critical. The FDC lacks a core. You gave your address as a PO Box Katonga. Yes. What is the core of FDC? Does it still have a center? Is, the, is that center holding? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, but uh, generally, we founded FDC for a cause. And our cause is well stipulated. It has been communicated to every Ugandan. We have values, we have objectives, we have a mission, we have a vision. So we came together to start that journey. And along the way, our colleagues, because of their selfishness, because of greed, like what he's saying, what has been happening in all parties anyway. On, along the way, people who have been mandated to give us leadership, they decided to deviate from the cause and they take their own roots, which we don't believe in. And mm. we are founders. We have a history. Uh, since we were founded, we have made tremendous successes <coughs> in the country. He's talking about walk to work, and he says that he, he didn't know why was, uh, Dr. Vesja was walking. He did not walk alone. We worked together, and we worked for a cause which we partly achieved. Because at that time, the prices of of goods had escalated mm. and we decided to park our cars because the fuel was no longer affordable the cost of uh, of living was no longer affordable we parked our cars and we walked and we saw prices uh, getting reduced at that time now uh, going direct to the point you said we have two executives, we have uh, two chairpersons, uh, how you introduce the program. Mm. But I want to assure you that you should also know that there is an executive which is, a, which is legitimate and the one that is illegal. So our fight is not a fight for positions, we are fighting for our cause. We want to protect our cause. Mm. And the delegates conference which sat in Katonga took resolutions and we resolved to implement Article 36 mm. in our constitution. What does it say? When members, when the delegates conference consider that the reason that we founded the party, the party is no longer serving the, the, the purpose, they have the liberty to dissolve it. Mm. And that's where we are now. We have taken a decision to dissolve FDC because we want to protect our cause. We want to protect our, our history. We want to, pres to preserve our history. Uh, as uh, I told you earlier, we are all founders. We found the party, but we found a few people, a few individuals hawking it and taking it away. We have been saying all this, and we have evidence. Mm. So we are saying we can no longer associate with them. Some people are telling us to reconcile. What do we reconcile about? Because we came together to bring about change uh, in, in governance, to bring about uh, better services. Uh, professor, you saying that we should not think about removing M7, but for me, if it was uh, not about that, I wouldn't be an FDC. Mm. So if we took a, 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 a journey with our colleagues to go to Masaka, and along the way, we see them going to Ruero, 
Do we really continue associating with them? What exactly do these people who are telling us to, co to reconcile? What do they want us to reconcile about? Should mm. we say, okay, we have now reconciled, now that you have decided to, to, to serve Museveni, he's the one to give you money to campaign, and he's acting according to, uh, the party is acting according to his will, so should we also accept and reconcile? Because reconciling needs uh, taking some, uh, like abandoning some, uh, some uh, situations and you, you support the other, uh, the other side. So we see there is no point that we can reconcile now. The only so thing what, we what can... So what is the core of FDC? That's the question I put to you. Mm. What, what, is at the, what is holding FDC together? Is it still there or it has fallen asunder? At the moment, mm. our cause is in Katonga. Mm. The leadership in Najanankumbi, we have disagreed with them because they have betrayed our cause. And that's the reason why we are calling over Ugandans. Because our fight is now, it's a, a deliberate, uh, it's a deliberate resistance against the cancer that has been killing parties. Because when the part, when and parties... And what is that cancer? Uh, you have seen leaders hawking the parties. And if you want to cross, you can cross. Some people have crossed. Mm. And when someone has decided to cross, you can cross. But the, the fact that some leaders decided to pack the whole party mm. and take it to the dictator, that's where our disagreement is. If they decide to cross, where and As who? individuals. Yes, as mm. individuals. They can, they can go because it's not the first time. But packing all of us to take us to, to NRM, that's our disagreement. And we have said we cannot follow them. That's why you see uh, the chairman, our legitimate, ch our legitimate chairman, Ambassador Waswabirigwa, uh, there is also a court ruling. They took him to court, saying that he's a masquerader, he's not a party chairman. They wanted him to be arrested, they wanted him to be charged. But court has said, no, he's not a masquerader. So that's why we have come up with a, a, a the resolution. For dissolution. It is a, a legal step. We made this constitution mm. and we agreed that at a certain point, when things can no longer hold, we can dissolve the party and move on. And this is the resolution that we are going to implement. Processes have started. Mm. Uh, we are required to give a notes of six months and it will be given, it has already been drafted. Any time you will see it in the, you will see it in the newspapers and we will proceed with all the requirements of the law to have the party dissolved. Whatever happens after that, mm. we are not in charge. They can be protected because they have someone to protect them, but for us we will have made our point and we will have dissolved our party. We will go and explain to all our members, we will give them a way forward and we will have a new party, which we will put back to the rail of the cause that we founded FDC. The Honorable Jack Sabiti, let me come to you. Um, and to Professor's point, the center, the core of FDC, when you view does that lie, how well is it holding? Uh, we have one FDC. As in the spirit of one Uganda, one, pe one people? Yes, we have one, one people, one Uganda. Yes, mm. we have one FDC. But when you have selfish people who don't want to follow the rules of the game, they think a party belongs to an individual, then things can't hold. This party was formed out of three, in fact, four groups. We had the Parliamentary Advocacy Forum, we had the Reform Agenda, we had independents who agreed to work with us, and we had another small party by Chapa Karhanga. Was it the National Democrat Forum or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we agreed to form a party and lead this country to where we think is the best 
approach. We came up with a constitution, which I came with, it is here. This constitution clearly states who does what and what we believe in as a party. But it has come to us as members of the party that some people within the party believe this party belongs to them. They don't want to follow the constitution. Hmm. They want to remain automatic leaders forever. And that's the main problem why we have this, 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 this conflict. Um, so, someone, uh, in, our, sorry, hmm. in our party, <coughs> every leader is supposed to occupy an office only two terms. It's constitutional. If you are a secretary general, if you are a president, if you are a chairman, if you are a treasurer general, if you are a leader, you have only two terms. You cannot occupy that office that you originally occupied more than twice. But some people in the party believe that it is their party and therefore, they should continue being the leaders. When, when you refer to some people, are those people faceless? Can they be? No, no, don't no. they have names? Don't they have a name? Don't they have an identity? For example, we had the president hmm. of the party, Dr. Chiza Besiji. Is he still a president? He's Could you please president. let me first explain? <laughs> let me first explain. Um, He's a man who thinks the party belongs to him, it is his. He wants to direct the party to take the direction he wants as an individual. Yet for us, we believe that since we have this constitution that guides us, this constitution that guides us, we must take that direction. We agreed to have elections in this party. He was a signatory to it, but he believes he should guide us where he are, wants. Are you, are you being fair to Dr. Kiza Besige, a man who relinquished his leadership before completing his term and said, you have a party, you follow your constitution, I give up the party to you, find leadership, I will continue contributing. And that was, I don't know how many years ago, almost 10 years ago, 2013? 2014. Yeah, about 2013, 2013 mm, 2014. Mm, mm. Ten years down the road, you're still accusing him of wanting to dominate the party, wanting it to follow his directions, when he has not held a leadership position in that political party. And between the time he left, 2014, you've had how many leaders in between? Are you being fair to him? Yes, I am. I'm being fair to him. Mm. And what I'm saying is, is true. Mm. Because he... He is the main architect of all this that is going on. Of all what? <laughs> this conflict that is within the party. Mm. Is, is it because, um, would it be fair to say, yeah. Professor said, what has held NRM together at the core is that it has an ideology. It has problems to solve and it is focusing on those problems. What would you say to someone who says that maybe Dr. Bessinger is keeping true to the main goal and the people maybe around him sit that way and you're seeing the constitution, the party structures, the offices, the big things. W would that be fair? But that, that, that contradicts <coughs> the constitution. Mm. You see, in this constitution, a president has certain functions to perform. Mm -hmm. A chairman has specific functions to perform. NEC has specific functions to perform. And we have a direction, we have an ideology, we have a direction. It's not an individual. You face dissolution, uh, Honorable Jack Sabiti, you face the threat of dissolution yes. under your Article 36 yes. of your constitution mm -hmm. because members of your party, at least founding members of your party, say 
you have packed the party in a box and wanted to deliver it. The accusation at the center is that you've deviated from the cause and have decided to go a different direction, which is transactional politics, not problem-solving politics. Who has deviated? It's not the party leadership. Mm. It is those who want to take over the party and take a different direction, right, mm. that are trying to deviate the party from its course. Ingrid wouldn't agree with you, would she? Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you can allow me to come in at this point. Uh, I know where Honorable Jack Sabit is coming from. And with much respect, some of us are very, very disappointed because we have been all along looking on to him as our mentor, as our elder, but coming on air <coughs> to, to, to applaud his anger against an innocent man who has done what, who has sacrificed all his life for this country. I understand it's not only anger, but it's an assignment. Whatever is going on, in Najana Kumbi today is an assignment, which is highly facilitated, very well supervised, and they think they can accomplish it. Mm. Dr. Vesje, as you said, he served his term. He's no longer party president, but he's our founding president. <coughs> we should give him that respect. I want to tell you what they did. Very recently, you, I think you hear the mobilization that is going on. Mm. They have decided to delete, to delete the entire register, entire membership of 25 years of FDC members. The argument I've had, uh, Honorable Ingrid Turinawe, is yes. that the team that sits at Katonga are no longer members of the Forum exactly. for Democratic Change. Exactly, that is the point I'm trying because to Because in your constitution, you provided for how a person <coughs> becomes a member and maintains their membership. That you are required to renew that membership. Every year. Every year. Yes. That the entire team that sits at Katonga has not renewed its membership. Therefore, you have no claim. The constitution is here. You have no claim. You abandoned the party mm. because you haven't followed your constitution yes. to renew your membership. Honorable Jack Sabit is a, a founder mm. of this party. I want him to show me an article that requires me to pay membership every year. Let me read you the article, which they have misused. It's on page seven, article 10. Rather, uh, yes, article 10, membership, page seven. It reads, I will not read you read, it, uh, read it. You read it, you read it. I will just read, I will just but... read the, the uh, subsection five, which mm. says, no, I think I think for the benefit of our viewers and our listeners, yes, who haven't, who don't have the opportunity to hold a, a copy of the constitution, yes, read at I read 10, the entire article. read at 10, it and then go to a sabbatical. Okay, let me first seven. read at 10, mm. section one. It reads, membership of the party includes the following categories: mm -hmm. life membership, annual membership, corporate membership, honorary membership. Two, the National Executive Committee may form time may form time to time, determine other categories of the said membership. Membership of the party shall be open to all Ugandans. Mm. That one I can also leave at that. Four. So go, go, go to an, the one you wanted yes, to refer to. Yes, an mm. applicant for membership of the party shall complete a registration form specified in Schedule Two of the Constitution. Upon approval payment of membership, and annual subscription. Mm. Annual subscription. Subscription is not membership. I want you to understand this. Mm -hmm. You go on. Membership is paid once, then subscription. We put subscription for the purposes of fundraising. If I don't subscribe mm -hmm. for a year, it doesn't take, take away, away membership. my membership. I want him to show me an article that requires me to pay membership every year. I'm reading to him that this is annual subscription, not membership. So what they have done, can you, you can imagine, mm -hmm. for 25 years, we've been recruiting members who have paid their membership. We left them with a data. 
I told you I was the national mobilizer at Najana mm. in charge of recruitment, in charge of organization, in charge of uh, mobilization. So we had a database which was almost five million and we would uh, pride in it. Our votes would be stolen, but we would be having our database. Mm. All of it has been deleted because some members have not subscribed. Even those who have subscribed for fundraising purposes, that's how we bought Najana Nkumb headquarters. Mm. We were subscribing. Someone would pay Rukumi, 1,000. Others were free to pay in millions to buy that property, including members of parliament mm. who would commit their, their part salaries, of their, uh, salary. part mm. of their salaries, mm. to buy that headquarters. Headquarters. So they brought, they recently introduced a new system of registration. Mm. And they started registering from number 001. So who's number 001 now? I you think know? it's about Jack Sabi to let's someone. Let's take a break and pick this conversation up in a moment. <laughs> let's, 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 let's take a break. Our professor will come to you in a moment. <laughs> Just let's, from the party. Let's take a break. <laughs> We are still coming to you from 106.1 Next Radio and on NBS TV. We, this is the big talk. And the Canary is out in the marathon in Kasese. He's running the, the Renzori Marathon um, uh, in, in, in Kasese, which is one of uh, the big uh, calendar events that are happening. But here, we're discussing the Forum for Democratic Change. Some people have described it as once a very promising party in the opposition, emerged with the reform agenda, in the ch challenge for the 2001 elections, registered as a political party in 2005, just ahead of the 20, uh, 2006 uh, general elections when Uganda returned to multi-party politics. Hardly 25 years down the road, instead of celebrating 25 years down the road, we have P.O. Box Katonga, P.O. Box HQ at uh, Naja Nankombe. What has happened to this political party? And I have uh, in studio here, I have Ingrid Turinawe, I have uh, the Honorable Jack Sabiti, and Professor Tassis Bazana Kawejere. Um, Ingrid, I'd like to give you a minute to conclude what you're saying, and then I'll come to yes. Professor. Yes. And I'll come to you back. Before uh, we went for the break, I was talking about how everyone mm. has been deleted from the register mm. uh, in Najanankumbi. And the registration they are doing now, they have started with member 001. So all the party is starting afresh? Afresh. Mm. Member 001. All our work for the past years, all our, some of us volunteered to, to suffer. We've been suffering, we've been passing through here to put together what has been existing. So they have decided to dismantle everything and dismantle everything. Mm. They have closed the gate in Najana Nkumbi. When you go there today, the date is closed, the gate. The gate. Nobody is, accept, is accepted to access their headquarters before you make a call. Mm -hmm. You, seek, you to, seek special permission. Uh, yes, you seek permission from above. Mm. <laughs> they have surrounded our headquarters with the chiefess, with the chiefess police. Chiefess is what? With, our, the, our, with our, the goons. Our, 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 with people the listening goons. to us and the viewers <laughs> don't know goons. who chiefess is. Armed mm. goons, armed with sticks. You know, you know the story. You know what happened. You saw our chairman climbing the wall. Mm. You saw everything. So that's, that's what has become our headquarters. But as I said before, this is a, a well-facilitated mission which they are trying to implement. That's why you see him even uh, the, uh, party, the person who calls himself the party president, the one we really Elected. introduced, mm. I was uh, the head of the campaign of Honorable Amriyat. Mm. He wasn't there. I moved with him in the whole country. Nobody knew him. I want to apologize to our members. Mm. Really, you forgive us. Yeah, you forgive me. I, I was the head of the campaign of Amriyat. I moved with him in every country, including his own home. And all the leaders who were in Iteso did not vote for him. The Alice, Honorable Balistara, so Angelina, uh, uh, Sege, uh, 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 Rico Haba, all the leaders, national leaders, were telling us, do you know what you are marketing? And we marketed him. 
and knowing we didn't know what he was going to offer. So now we see him deleting everybody, including so, life so members. In the new register, yes. if you've had access to it, um, who is member 001? Honorable mm -hmm. Jack Sabit, I think. I'm not very sure. But mm -hmm. they have made themselves from 001. They selected themselves. Mm -hmm. They made themselves 001 up to the numbers that they need. Mm -hmm. And now they are not ashamed to say... Mm -hmm. give it to him. They are not ashamed you see, let him, to let say that tell, we are not mm, members. Let her tell the truth. Um, She's she just trying to... Yes, you Jack, are the ones Jack, who are already Jack, saying the, that the we are no longer members. Mm. has just shared with me, for mm. the benefit of our viewers, and we'll zoom this at uh, an appropriate time, um, his membership card, it's Forum for Democratic Change, FDC 1306. That's the member number. Mm. FDC 1306. Mm. 1306. 1306. Yes, so you are not 001. You are um, the one saying I'm uh, 001. You are not 001, but has, there is a 001. It has, there is a 001. It has honorable services mm. uh, NIN number, the mm. national identification number, mm. uh, name, member name, Chrissy Jack Sabiti, and the other details. He's from uh, Ruchiga constituency mm. in Ruchiga district, Ruamchuch sub county, uh, Nyarurambi parish. Murambi village. I hope I, I picked those correctly. Um, yeah. let, let, let me see if you can zoom in and uh, get the details of this. It is 1306. That's his membership number. Mm. So, zero, uh, zero. So, I'm not one. No, so, you are not zero, zero, one. one. That's, that's ah, clear. No, but there is a zero, zero, one. Mm. There, there is a zero, but, zero. But, no. But, honorable please, Jack Savit, are, are you recreating a new political party? No. Are you recreating FDC? You see, this party is one. It has this constitution. Mm. We have not changed this constitution, right? It is the constitution we started with and continues to be our constitution. Mm. So for someone to come up and say, we have changed the constitution, we have changed things in this party, that's a lie. Uh, professor, well, you, you, you're listening to all this exchange. Very, very clearly. Mm. I don't want to be misunderstood by viewers. To think that perhaps I'm also a segment of this <laughs> a faction. <laughs> no, as, another as, faction. Certainly, we, we, we're tapping into um, your long experience as yes, a political yes, actor, yes. As, as an academician, as an yes, elder. Yes. Uh, we need that to broaden this discussion beyond very much, the Forum for Democratic very Change. Much, very mm. much. And it's internal you issues. You see, when I said problem solving should guide any political organization. Any political effort. UPC came in with its approach. It didn't work. Mm. Its president was overthrown twice by its own leadership army. Okay? Mm. Amin came in. He said he thought we, he was going to be our savior. He also failed. We came in 79, Rule 68 days, Venaisa, you. Uh, military commission, UNLF collapsed. So I think FDC should study the history of Uganda. The, why would we have all these failures and collapses? Look at NRM. Anybody who has studied the history of NRM, you know the position of Kategaya. May God rest his soul. He walked out. But when he walked out, everybody imagined that, oh, he has been with them seven years, they were to be in school, then they, they would be chaos. He went out, and the end came. Uh, name them. Besiji. Mbabazi. Mbabazi was the prime minister. Mm. Huh? When he chose to stand and so on, eh? Is now still is now a member of NRM. They were decent people. He left. And, okay. Mm. Now you can even go on. <laughs> you, you even earlier on you had the uh, what is the name? The General uh, Tinyefuza. He walked out. Eh? Now the issue is the, when I said the core. Mm. Uh, what is the core of N of FDC? Because you see, the core means the discipline. Yeah? If you are Tranawe mm. and you are 
in a party? What, co what code of behavior, what discipline do you have? You are talking of paying uh, uh, a subscription. <coughs> a subscription. Mm. Ooh, but you have to have a belief. A belief. Do you believe in what the party stands for? Do you believe in the a legacy it can create? What, do you, what difference is it supposed to make? Professor, at the center of the disagreement in FDC, where it started from, to Jack Saviti and the group at Najan Nankumbi, they will say, Best did left, but he actually never left. He wanted to retain control from yes, elsewhere. But, this is what I'm but yes. Besic, as a member of the party, as its founding president, comes to the nation and says, some dirty money was received by okay. the leadership I, I, at Najan and during that. elections. I yes. was coming to that. Mm. Because this accusation, the accusation, they have to demonstrate to the world okay, mm. that it is true. Mm -hmm. That they that Najana Nkwembe was bought. Okay? Secondly, if Najana Nkwembe is capable of being bought, then what quality is it? You see? Because the, the whole question of somebody bribing you and you lose your ground, it shows your ground was not cultivated properly. Because when I hear this argument, even is it true that actually <laughs> NRM, eh? oh, Museven, bought Naja Nankumbi? Is it true? But suppose it were even true. Mm. If you are a piece of cake and you can be bought from a market, why should anybody bother about you? Does Naja Nankumbi, politically, yes. because there is the legal where uh, but whoever... But before, you, before mm. you come in, mm. Who would have been bought in the Naja Nankumbi other than believing that the leaders of Naja Nankumbi mm. are such a, uh, you know, pieces of papers, literally, that you can buy like you buy a, a, a banana? <laughs> Why would that be attributed to them as if that quality is in Naja Nankumbi on the hill and not in other members of the party? Mm. If it can happen to Naja Nankumbi, why wouldn't it happen to Katonga? Now, you see, this way, you, when personality eh, becomes the dominant factor, not the value, not the principles. But Professor, you see, Professor let me step in. Just one, just one minute. Um, we are talking the legality, yes. He who alleges must prove. That's the legal principle. Mm -hmm. But politically, in a country where corruption is so pervasive, does Naja Nankumbi have an equal obligation not to be perceived as people who could actually be bought, like you have said, a piece of cake, a class of bananas from yeah, the market? But, but look, but let me explain look, this. Look, please. Mm. If somebody chooses you, for example, if somebody were to say, Kabuejir has come to this NBS today because he has been bribed, mm -hmm. eh? if he, he says that, now, it becomes now an issue whether Kawajiri is going to go in the street and say, no, I wasn't bought, I wasn't bought. What if it is not true only to what if it spoil is my name? What if it is true? Well, if it is true, then mm. demonstrate it. That's mm -hmm. why I have said it should be demonstrated very clearly, even those who were bought and how it was done, so that people can say, can isolate individuals. Because you see, you, you didn't buy a party. Mm. If you buy individuals, the individuals are not a party. Mm. Let, let, let's go back a little. When he made the allegations, Dr. Kiza Besje said, one of the leaders of the party from Najan Nankumbi, specifically the Secretary General, mm -hmm. carried in a bag 300 million shillings, drove it to his house, and said, keep this money. For what? For us. For what? We've had other members, I, 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 want, I want to be fair, We've had other members, like uh, Ibrahim Semujunganda. He's a senior member of FDC. He was, until the reshuffle uh, recently, was the chief, the, the whip, the party whip in parliament, and spokesperson. He was spokesperson for the party in parliament, uh, sitting in, a spokesperson for the general party, and uh, I think whip in parliament. Mm. He is an elected member of parliament. And he says, yes, this money was received. They, it was too much. They took some to Dr. Besige. 
They gave me some to buy a van. They gave me some to do this. Why has, has, do you think in your view that FDC has done proper soul searching? You called it looking at the history of this country, the legacy and the history they can create, the change they can make. Have they done sufficient soul searching to say to an ordinary member, citizen of this country, not aligned to FDC, or maybe a member of the other political party, but has been looking at FDC to say, well, this is a party that can carry my own individual aspirations. Okay, mm. but you see, at the bottom line, even if that was happy, had hap happened, it shows you that the party, the essence of the party in the leaders to behave like that shows that the party doesn't exist. That's because you see, Look at Christianity, look at Islam, look at... There are certain principles you must hold. If leaders of the party can be bought, mm. eh? <laughs> then it means that the very thing called that party itself is a sham. Because you see... <laughs> but because, Mr... Let, 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 yes. let me first finish. Mm, please. Because you see, you can blame the buyer. Mm. Okay? You can say, why this one bought? But what, why do you accept to be bought? And if you have a party, and you have run it, and you have character, you have picked people, they are leaders, and they can be bought like Kabaragara, mm. then there is something you should check on whether you as a party, you, you, did, right a, did, a, yes, you did a good job. Because you see, I have said it publicly myself, if you see children, Steering, study the family where they have grown. Mm. Steering is learned from those people. So if, if the party, if you can have Jack Sabit, eh, who says this, and you have to know it, says this, and they have been in the same party. And they say, he, this one was bought. And you were together in the party for many years. Why didn't you create the character that endures Mm. All the challenges. If you know that NRM buys, bribes, why not create a party, create leaders who can And full profit. Yes. Full profit against... Uh, yes. Uh, full, uh, full, full proof. Uh, let, me, yes. let me say this. Mm. Because, because that's, why there this is question, no, that's why there is no reconciliation. Excuse me. Mm. That's why there is no reconciliation. This question so of, is saying this, this, question of is saying money, this. Mm. this question of money was raised by Chisa BSJ. You wanted him to, to keep silent mm. about Wait, it. Wait, please. Can, why don't you give me a chance? Please. <laughs> please. Let, let please. Mm. Mm. Please. He came up with this allegation. He came and presented it to the uh, national, uh, national Delegates Conference. Mm. Mm? Right? National Council. He told the National Council that there is money that came in the party and he has evidence from one agent in State House who gave him that information and that this money that was used during Amriat's campaign mm. was a bribe. I was the Treasurer General of FDC for 10 years. Mm. We looked for money for best, and he knows. We solicited funds from different sources, abroad, no. mm. abroad, no. and internally here. Mm. Mm. And we did that job. Mm. BSJ would go outside and get money. At times, mm. he would not even declare it in our party. Mm. He would use it. Times would complain internally, hmm? but please, why don't you give me a chance? I'm listening. Right? He would, you know, but we knew he was doing this in the best interest of From the, the party. party. Now, when Amriat stood, he never wanted Amriat to stand. Honorable Savite, let, let me just... I want to take in that direction just, so let, that you let, see, let you know the put, genesis. Let, let me just put a quick question to you yes. uh, that helps to put context to this. Yes. 
for all the allegations about money mm -hmm. in FDC and this particular money, yes. I haven't had a single person say Jack Saviti received this money. Best they said it. No, they said, uh, I think they accused the <laughs> Honorable Nandala and the Honorable Amuriat. Yes. You were the, and, and uh, I think Honorable Kanya, from what we have heard. Mm. Your name hasn't come out as prominently, yet you were the Treasury General of the party. Yes. What does that say? What yeah, this is, why, this is why I want to explain this. Mm. Now, this J never wanted any other person to stand as a president of the party. Actually, he dismissed the idea of having a candidate. And me and Nandara and Amriyat had a discussion with the VSJ in his house for about four hours mm. discussing this matter, requesting him as our former president to help us go and do the fund, I mean the, the fundraising. The usual fundraising. And uh, he refused. Mm. I think he thought that we would have no capacity to raise funds. In the end, since I was the Treasurer General, Nandara Mafai was my, my deputy, mm. we knew all the sources where we were getting money during the best time. We looked for money. So why had you gone to request him to help you raise the money when you knew? Yeah, because there are external from? sources where mm. he used to go and get money. Mm. Yes. And that's very interesting. And, and he, was, uh, he was in charge of that. Where does this leave you? If we, if we look at the broader picture, because getting lost in the internal, this, this detail yes. of the discussion, there are two quick questions I'd like to yeah. put to the two of you, and, and even Professor. One, there is a resolution passed by a section of people who say they're your members, the members of FDC, mm. to dissolve the party under Article 36. And that would, uh, and, and, and that would of course, affect you as chairman, because I think uh, Katonga doesn't, uh, agree with you as being chairman. But why, why do you always talk about, we don't have an office in Katonga. <coughs> well, if this is one of the I, I headquarters. Am, we, we, I, I am a journalist. The reality, the what reality, is the reality? Jack, Jack Someone Sarri. comes and imposes himself. I, 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 I am a journalist. And he says, this is an office of I, I am a journalist. <laughs> and you I, say, I am a journalist. Yes. I, I am a journalist, a media practitioner, who has covered Ingrid Turinawe. not a member of the executive. Who has covered Ingrid Turinawe as a member of FDC at Naja Nankumbi. I meet Ingrid to now in studio who says address Katonga. I have known Kiza Besije as a founder, president of the Forum for Democratic Change, mm. based at Naja Nankumbi, now sitting at is Katonga. He, is she still a member? Hold it a moment. There is a whole section. It is between FDC, Naja Nankumbi, Katonga to say we are one party, the other one operates in this way, the other one operates in this way. It cannot be for us to say there is no group here, there is no group here. When we don't Kat have any branch of Katonga FDC at issued Katonga. A statement. Katonga is where this sits with his office. Katonga issued a statement. But it has no, nothing to do with the party. Honorable Jack Sabit, it would be dishonest to our viewers and yes. to Ugandans. Yes. To Ugandans. Mm. To say what we covered as media of a delegates conference at Katonga saying it is FDC and what we covered of a press conference held at Najanan Kumbi saying it is FDC is unreal. No, but, this exists. But, but that I mean, one, mm. not, not <laughs> withstanding, mm. we are talking of leadership of a country. Mm. Huh? It's not a question of leadership of a party. We are talk no, yes, we are talking do. of a party which is supposed to take over power yes. and lead Uganda. Yes. And we only have less than a year, about a year. You know, but you have, office, a year. you have your office. Wait, you have wait, your office. Wait, 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 wait. You go to your office. Jack, huh? Jack, do you have another office? Jack. Jack, I want to see you as the president of Uganda uh, at some point. But I want to see a way to that point and what will help me be a, a citizen in a stable country. That's why I came here. I didn't come here to just... But who has destabilized this country? Yeah. No. You see, you, you we are, are talking, talking as if... No, wait, wait, wait. Let's <laughs> not go into wait. other the know, moment, areas. The moment an instrument, a political instrument, is unstable and it at the same time claims to be the leadership guide of this country, I get worried. So when I am sitting here in this program, on this day, on the 24th of 
August 2024. And I have two people talking about the same party. And the same party wants to take you over Uganda and lead it. And I am a citizen. I am interested. Mm. Yes, and that's why I'm here. So the issue is if this dialogue, if this confusion is within a party, what future do we see in that party as a leader of Uganda, solving problems of and development, problems of cattle thieving, problems of, 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 of education, health. Poverty. That's, that's a, 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 a poverty. Because you see, if a party cannot cohere, huh? if the founder member, who is the founder member here with uh, Be Be Besige, and is here, and the two cannot reconcile. I'm saying Besige mm -hmm. is not a member. And, and they cannot reconcile. <laughs> How will they be able to lead the country? Now, if we say Katonga is useless, okay, go away. Mm. We say now, Daniel Janankumbi, you are the one. But who is what saying is, go what? away? Who is saying go away? You really, um, since, this, since we started here, you haven't said so? Go away? That Katonga doesn't <laughs> exist? Yeah. No, Katonga is not an, of a, a, any structure of yes, FDC. But the people who are in Katonga, Jack Sabit, you know them. Mm. There are people you have known, you have sat together, you have worked together as a member. And, of uh, and I recognize as, a, as an office of FDC? No, no, I'm not saying... It. You, uh, have, you, in N, you are in NRM. You, you in NRM, NRM, you have your office But down when here. you cross the gates, right? what do we do? Look, the, play, the issue is not geography. Because you don't want to go Did there. Did you chase everyone in Nagasaku? Yeah, they are out there. The, the, this one Sabit, ran away Sabit, from us. Jack Sabit. Mm -hmm. He is no longer even a member. He, no, he, he competed in a different me. party. No, don't provoke yes, me. Yes, I can give me. you the details. Because yes. when you mismanage the party, mm -hmm. we cannot accept to remain, to remain then you leave. scrapping for you. We have yes. party let, let, structures. Let's ask how we this, have how this, how this we discussion here. We know how elections here. are handled. How this discussion we have here. Yes, yes. I, yes. I, I see the way Professor has uh, mm. directed it. When we come back, where does this leave your struggle for leadership of the country? The two of you, yes. no matter where, mm. you see yourselves in FDC. After short commercial break. We have and listening to the Big Talk on Next Radio and on NBS TV, I have, uh, we're discussing the Forum for Democratic Change. Someone just sent me a message and said, uh, I am being unfair to the Honorable Jack Sabiti because I've not given you adequate time to explain what you think is the cause of the problem. So I want to give you two minutes to crystallize what the cause of this problem has been, but the bigger picture is, do you see this as a destruction to your struggle? How much of a destruction is this to the broader struggle? And when do you get yourselves back to struggling to take control of the country as you have been uh, uh, wanting to do for the last 25 years? You have deviated from what I had expected to, to discuss. Mm. Why is FDC divided? I, I actually wanted us to focus more on what that division means for what FDC yes. says it stands for. FDC has a constitution. We follow the structures of the party, the ideology of the party, the thinking of the party, we don't follow an individual. We have the structures which direct the affairs of the party. Best just served us as the president of the party, completed his term. We have now other leaders elected to run the party. Members can contribute through different branches, but the leadership at Najanankumbi is the authorized structure to run the party. We have nothing to do with Katonga. Katonga has people who belong to, F who belong to FDC. That's their office. But it's not the office of the head of, 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 of FDC. 
But when you try to fuse the two to be part of FDC, I wonder. If I, you have a rebel group mm. which, you know, moves somewhere and, you know, uh, and you, 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 you recognize it as the, 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 the authentic, right, leadership, I find it strange. Honorable uh, Sabete, the media now, is, those outside, people, sorry, is outside of the party. So, sorry, those yeah. people who sat at Katonga as a, a delegates conference, many of them are not members even of the party. Right? Including even my sister here. Mm. Right? Was she once a member? Yes, yeah, she was once a member. Mm. And she defected, she stood, she stood as independent and as per our constitution. Once you stand as independent, you cease to be a member of the party. For a party and that these are the people who for a now party, come to confuse us. Honorable Sabiti, for a party that has tried to gain leadership of this country, first in 2006, again in 2011, and again in 2016, yes. and in 2021, yes. and has not succeeded, politically I would imagine that you believe in every vote counts Every member is important. Every person watching you oh, out yes. there That's is important. True. Yes. When you discard and say, these are rebels, they walked out, they're not members of the party, what signal are you sending to people who believe in uh, Ingrid, who believe in Kiza Besije, who would have wanted to support or no, to don't, vote for don't, FDC? Don't, don't include Besije in Ingrid. Mm. Besije has never run out from our party. <laughs> Besije is a member of uh -huh. the party. Mm. Yes, we recognize him. He's a founding member. Mm. Right? But he has, he, has, he has become just a rebel. He uh -huh. wants to take over the party. <laughs> he wants to come back and take over the party. What about Without the, going through the normal procedure, what the about, constitution. What about people like uh, Salam Musumba? People like yeah. your Salam Musumba is a member of the party. And chairman Virigwa. Uh, Waswa Virigwa. He's a member. Party chairman. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's a member and, of and the party. And the whole group that was? Yes, the member of the party. Mm. What does this mean to your broader struggle? for leadership of the country? We only appeal to our, 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 our members to unite and who have been calling upon the Katonga group to come and you know, unite and you know, move ahead together. You now say Katonga group. You said we shouldn't talk about the Katonga yes. group. Yeah, what is the Katonga group? Call, you have what, what, what is Katonga the Katonga group? group? What, what is the group that you call the Katonga group? Those who meet at Katonga. Uh. In what in, capacity? In, SD, in, F, in the university's office. In what members. capacity? Right. In what capacity? In what capacity? Yes. As friends of BCG. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the, are they a group of FDC members? Would you call it's them? No, it's, not, it's not a recognized group. Mm. Yes. Uh, yes. But it's you acknowledge that there's a group. The structure. Group. It's not part of the structure. Yes. Uh, but you said you, you acknowledge that there's a group that sits at Katonga. We know BCG as our former president. Mm. He sits at Katonga. But we normally see people going there to sit, to discuss, right? And when, it has when, become when, now a rebel group. When mm -hmm. they address the media, do you watch and follow what they're saying? Yes. They met, at their last meeting, they passed a resolution under Article 36 of your constitution and said they are moving to dissolve FDC. They have no power to dissolve FDC. And what, and what article? What does Article 36 provide? <laughs> You have the copy uh, of the constitution. If you look at uh, Article 36, there must be a delegates conference. They claim they held a delegates conference before they passed that resolution. And it is the one that passed that it's, resolution. No, that's, uh, that's illegal. Mm. It's an illegal delegates conference, so-called delegates conference, right? Because the chairman must convene the delegates conference. Uh, chairman Waswa Virigua chaired the meeting that happened, called a delegates conference at Katonga. What do you say about that? He's no longer a chairman of the party. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, professor, just before I come to you, let me, let me quickly go to Ingrid and ask the same question. What yes. does this mean to the broader struggle for FDC to take leadership of the country, and what message do you think you're sending to potential supporters, <coughs> potential voters, potential members watching you now and have been following what has been going on in, in, the, in, uh, in your party. Uh, thank you, Charis. Uh, before I go to the broader struggle and where we are going, uh, I wanted to 
to thank Honorable Jack Sabit and to say it's good news because he reached in this studio without knowing the difference between membership and subscription. And when I read it to him, he has now accepted that members in Katonga are FDC members. So you worry why Najanankumbi is doing what they do because they think they are holding a role, but they don't know what is there. I have much worry about Honorable Jack Sabit calling himself a party chairman when he knows that he was elected illegally. The delegates conference, what they called the delegates conference that elected him was convened illegally because Article 28 is very clear. I asked him to read for me an article where people can be deleted from the register. He didn't give it to me. But Article 27, 28 is about the functions of the party leaders. And it talks about the party chairman. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm talking about Chairman Ibirigwa. Talk about the, the chairman, chairman is the one who convenes the National Delegates Conference. Wasn't that a matter resolved by court? <laughs> it wasn't. It no, wasn't. There is a court. I, I, I hope he, does a, he understands the, the difference between a, 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 an injunction and a judgment. A ruling to an injunction and By a who? judgment to a case. Mm. So I hope he understands it. I but do. it seems he doesn't understand it. The way he doesn't understand the difference between membership and subscription. Sure? Sure? So he was not elected the chairman of the party. Our chairman, substantial chairman, is Chairman Ibirigo. And he's the one who can convince the delegates. Are you a member of this party, including yourself? I didn't want to go into that. Yeah, but you are provoking me. Because <laughs> we have structures. He's talking about structures. He doesn't know that there is a structure called Elections Tribunal, which was dismantled by the new leadership in Najan Ankumbi. When we went into elections, they dismantled the election, election tribunal. So they started appointing candidates. When I went to elections, not me alone and other members, mm. we had petitions. But because they had dismantled the election tribunal, which would sit into our petitions. Our petitions are still there. Oh, no. They were not answered, and we decided to defy. Mr. Nawe, so I didn't want to go, I didn't want to Nawe, go into that. But I am happy he you, has you recognized Dr. Wesija as a member, Honorable <laughs> Salim, Salam Musumba is a member, Chairman Ibirigwa is the chairman, and the delegates sat. You, Going you, you, back you, you to the question bound, you asked you me. You were bound by time mm. on how long leadership can serve. Yes. Because of COVID-19, you're not able to renew your leadership. Yes. When was and how was Wasabirigwa's leadership as chairman? Like how does it get sustained? Like Nanda Ramafabi, like Honorable Amriat, that tenure was extended by the delegates conference. Mm. And they remained working, they remained in offices because there was COVID. And after this, COVID? After COVID, because of the confusion, the tenure was also extended. The delegates conference sat and gave interim leadership to some people to take us into a transition. And that is what is happening, and it is accepted by this constitution. The, 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 the question I asked. The, ex the question you asked mm. about uh, our way forward and the struggle. What, what this for us, For us, we are not going to deviate from our cause. Which I cause? want to inform him that uh, See, FDC, FDC is not a headquarter. FDC is not individuals. So even when Museveni came into power, he had no offices. So uh, the bragging of saying uh, offices are in Najana Kumbi, it doesn't matter. So long as we have the members, we can have headquarters anywhere. So we are in Katonga, we are regrouping, we are refreshing, we are reloading, we are refocusing, and soon we will be there. We will not waste our time attacking these individuals the way they do, with anger, because they are paid, instead of answering issues, instead of addressing, uh, addressing uh, the questions that are being asked, they just start in attacking individuals. If we can go to discuss the issues of money, we cannot leave this place. But for us as members, we are satisfied, we got evidence that they got the money, they shared the money. Up to now, they are still sharing that money. 
you are saying the rallies they are holding. We had never had... The, the, the money hasn't been used up up to now. Up to it's now, it was, it was actually a road. When we, they took it to Dr. Where, which, which, the money they, they are they, using, where does it come when from? When they took it, it is coming to me, from members and no one and is... And you think we have no and members? No, and no one is... Uh, <laughs> uh, Charis, no <laughs> one is complaining. But the money they are talking about, when you bring money in the, in the party, and we don't know, leaders don't know, you are the only one who knows where it come, it's coming from. Mm. He's, he talked about the I, sources. I, are, you, are you still focused on the struggle? Would you say you're still yes, focused on yes, taking we are leadership focused of the country? And, and very soon we are going to communicate the Professor country. Professor Kawajira asked a critical question. Yes. Do you demonstrate, do you think as FDC, uh, I, I'll use what Saviti called Katonga Group, Najanankombe headquarters. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're sending a message to Ugandans that they can trust FDC to lead this country? No, in every struggle, the journey has, you expect hurdles and challenges. But the way you handle the challenges, they expected us to go. How do you think you're handling your challenges? We are handling the challenges. We are dissolving our party, which we founded, and it has now sold itself. We are dissolving it, and we are regrouping. We are starting afresh. Starting and, afresh we will not, what? and we will Creating not a new be, political party? Yes, including uh, because it was resolved by the delegates' conference. So our members should be waiting any time we are going to introduce why, to them why, a new why, political why party. Why are you insisting on FDC when your plan is to start a new political party? You have had uh, former president of your party, uh, Mugisha Muntu, mm. walked out with your former secretary general former leader of opposition, started a new party called Alliance for National Transformation. You had a former member, mm. uh, Betty Kamia, mm. walked out of FDC, mm. started Federal Alliance Party. Why aren't you walking away, start a new party, and leave Najan Kumbi to do what it wants? All those founder members, we are going to consult them, mm. whether they have gone or not. So long as they are still interested, we are going to consult them about this dissolution. Because we have a property. That property is not anyone's home. It's our property. And the constitution the is very, FDC. very clear. It's FDC, the FDC. there are members who are deserving mm. FDC. Uh, yes, and, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, just conclude and then Professor should come in. I, I can conclude uh, this issue by saying, for us, we are determined to the cause. Whether they are officers or not, we shall be there. Our people should not lose hope. Some people had lost hope. Some people had lost the energy, but we are telling them we are bringing more hope, we are reorganizing, we are branding. We cannot let them not expect us to go and, and fold our hands when our cause is being betrayed. We have been betrayed, we are Your so cause sad, the people's cause. but we will... Yes, yeah. Prof. In all this, where is Uganda? Mm. In all this, where are we going? Because <clears throat> those of us who have witnessed independence camp. I was in entire school in 62, doing my O level. And I saw Chiwanuka in 61 come in mm. and the way he went. And I have followed the whole way, the way finally he went. I have seen UPC in alliance with Kabaka Yeka and I saw where it, it ended. I saw Amin coming in, and I saw how he ended. I was involved in the Moshe, Moshi, and I saw how UNLF ended. Mm. I have seen a struggle in Ruera, in Ruero, NRM, NRA, and I have seen since 86 what we are all going through. I have seen parties formed, registered. I think on the register we have more than 30 parties. Mm. I have seen parties winning so many seats like FDC. I have seen the, 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 the Bob Wine eh, coming in. And not an interpreter. Yes. Oh. I have seen all this. Now I'm seeing FDC with the people I know also going the way it seems others have gone. And all these are supposed to be efforts at stabilizing Uganda. We are here temporarily. We are supposed to build a capacity, a strength, a foundation for future generations. So my question, 
and that's what I would be participating in this debate for. My question is, where does FDC, whether it is Katonga, whether it is Najanankumbi, whether it is Besige, whether it is who, uh, where does this take us? Where, what message can we get from this arrangement, this performance, in a year, in a, just over a year to the next elections? And if you have this kind of bickering, eh, you know, going on, even if tomorrow they say the Katonga and we come together, would they be come together and make a, a warm bed and produce the right baby for us as a country? So this is the, the, the question. To me, uh, the, two of you, the two of us, the two of you who are here, FDC, this is not a first time. When, when the general Muntu walked out, hmm. it was because there was no compromise. Muntu is a leader. Muntu has been, but he couldn't com communicate. He couldn't continue there. So he went away. Many now, leaders have left. Yes, many have left. Now the question is, is when they great. leave, and this time now, if Katonga leaves, or if Najanankumbi stays, what, what core do we have that we can, hope, can have hope in to liberate Uganda from all these problems we have, all these challenges we have? Internationally, we are in trouble. Our raw materials are being taken. We are trying to, have, to generate uh, oil. We have all these. Now, I'm interested now in seeing well, if, if it's not NRM, and these people are saying, NRM, you say, well, not good. Then I look at Katonga. Then I look at Najana Nkumbi. I, I see, where is my hope? What can I tell my grandchildren that I have existed in Uganda and I have participated in, in quote unquote, building a stability? And I say, as I'm zooming off, mm. I say, grandchild, uh, there is Katonga. You go to Katonga. Oh, no. So my, my problem is, what answer to Uganda's problems can we get from either Katonga or Najanankumbi? If think, you people mm -hmm. are uh, vo uh, engaged in uh, Besige, uh, you know, uh, and so on, this bickering, this personality, <coughs> Charlie, doesn't help us. Mm -hmm. I would want eh, to hear, I want to take over Uganda. If you are going to take over Uganda, what are you going to do? I am here. Eh? Am I going to be safe in this Uganda? Those of us who ran out of Uganda during their mean time are now too old to be able to run again. And I don't want these accusations. Please, eh? these accusations that oh, Katonga was bribed. Please, if you have a party and you don't have leaders who cannot be bribed, then you have a problem. That means the discipline you established is not enough. That means even when they, were, they, become, they become presidents, they can be bribed like, uh, I am sorry to say this, eh? uh, what I think is happening in Kenya, I'm not so sure about Ruto. Eh? You, could, you could be bribed to, to send your people to Haiti. So I, I don't want to have a situation where FDC Katonga or FDC uh, Najanankumbi takes over. And then I am as worried as I was when Amin was in power. This, this is my problem. Charles. And it is a problem that you, you, you people must face. What message are you giving to young people, people who have been born? We have a population which has been born in this period of NRM. If you are going to give us an alternative, what alternative are you giving that can give them a guarantee that you are really leading better than, Uganda, than NRM? How, how, how are you getting beyond uh, what Professor calls the, in, the bickering within FDC to address, to place Uganda in this discussion? Start with Jack, and then I'll come to you. Um, <clears throat> when you have an institution, and that institution does not follow the rules and the guidelines of that institution, mm and individuals believe in themselves more than <clears throat> the ideology of that institution. 
then you cannot find yourself together working properly. And that's the problem we have had in the parties in Africa, particularly in Uganda, where you find an individual interest overrides public interest or party interest. Unless the leadership of any party, whether it be movement or DP or FDC, unless that leadership focuses on the core reasons why you formed that party, then there will always be turmoil in that party. If you can't serve your term and finish and let another person come and he serves, then that party cannot survive unless there is too much dictatorship in that party, as some parties, we have seen them in Africa, even in Uganda, individuals dictate and they even why, call them why, themselves why, you know, stronger. Why haven't you been able to transcend that individualism? Yes. Because yes. the accusation that the NRM levels against parties in the opposition, particularly the FDC, is that the focus has been on the individual Museveni. Now, that individualism is being, you've, you, 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 you've used the word individual and individual multiple times, I think in reference to Dr. Kiza Besige, has come into the FDC. Why would an entire political party, with some of the best brains in this country, um, at least from its foundation, from PAFO, from Reform Agenda, from NDF, and from independence, as you, uh, as you described them, why have you not been able to transcend this individual or these individuals? Yeah, because, you see, the individual interest continues to disorganize. We, ha we, have, f we have failed to adhere to the, the rules of the game. Let me, go back to question I put, let me go back to the question I put to you and then I'll come to you on the broader question. Many commentators, including within the FDC, said Dr. Kiza Besige propelled Patrick or Boy Amuriat to the leadership of FDC. Mm -hmm. So how can you say then that the <coughs> same individual has not wanted to relinquish when Patrick or Boy Amuriat is now the president, has been the president for the last, uh, since 2017? Yeah. Since 2017, to date, would that be a fair accusation? I want to go back. Well, that it was not basically that uh, uh, you know helped Amriat to be. He was among the people in the FDC mm. who identified Amriat to be the leader. We don't. It's not an individual that chooses, mm. right? It is a delegates conference that chooses. Yes, right. but they say, as right. they, they, were very, they, were, they were many people who had been identified. Yes. And uh, through discussions, we agreed that this goes there, right? But if, if, if that be the case, because it's important that we dispense with this, if that be the case, then how fairly would you say Besige continues to domineer over the party when, since 2017, Oboy Patrick Amriat has been the president of the party? In the last election. Hmm. Why didn't Vesje support Amriat, for example? As an, had, as an individual, was he dispensable that you could run the campaign and you did run the campaign? Amriat came number three, got the highest number of votes of a number three in that election. Why haven't you been able to move on from then and say uh, 2001 is uh, four years ago? Yes, we have been trying to move on. Mm. But that's why these you know, disruptions are coming in mm that we don't move on. So how does Besic exert right. his influence over the party when he's no longer a member of the party, when he hasn't been in his leadership for the last 10 years? You see, for example, when, when Amriat stood last time, mm. did you see Besic campaigning for him? He didn't. He didn't. So? Right. What does that Why? mean? Why? What does that suggest? Yes, what does that mean? He never wanted. He never wanted? Yes. How did he fail? How has he then failed Amriat from running his party? From running the party. No, he has not failed. Oh. The party is going on. So why are you Besige blaming? played his part. Yes. Um, Muntu Kem played his so part. So why is the focus on Besige? Right. Why is the focus of Nadia Nankubi on Besige? Because it is in his office where they plan everything at Katonga, his mm. office. Yeah, but right. how... Uh, the, <laughs> right. the many, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I, to go I, on... I see contradictions. Yes. yes. Contradictions. Besige <laughs> is not 
big deal, mm. but BCJ is the it big deal. Is, is, is what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. be, clear, be clear. No. BCJ now seems to be like... The He's the one who came... Let, let me first, ex like let let me first explain this. Now. Let, 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 me, let me explain this. Let me explain this. <laughs> He's the one who came with allegations of money. Yes. Right? We had invited him to come and address the National Why Council. Why would that be the Excuse case? Excuse me. Why would what, he what? do that? Personal interest to disorganize the party. Yes, that's why we why, are where we are. Why do you think Besija has so much influence on the party? What explains? As, so our, as our first leader, yes. right? You know, he has that influence. Mm. And whatever he says, yes, we, we, we take note. And that's why when he raised that matter, we called elders, mm. right? We have a committee of elders to sit down and, you know, interview all the people that could help. This day was called, listen please, wait, wait please, mm. why are you putting words into my mouth? No, I right? was asking. This was called to give evidence. Mm. I was called to give evidence. And many other people were called, right? This day had said, this man is talking about, he has evidence. And that he had notes of money, you know, as samples. They said, present them to this committee, let's look at them. So that we do investigation, we go to the Bank of Uganda and, you know, follow it up. Mm. BSJ never produced the evidence. For this story, okay? they would say BSJ had been okay. bribed by M7 to, to make those allegations. Wait, please. It could be. As he's <laughs> saying, we were abroad, he could have been bribed, right? <laughs> to destroy the party. Honorable Savit, when you reflect yeah. back, yes. do you think that FDC has narrowed its focus to Kiza BSJ? Or to your M7 no. and off the no, main no, no, no. We are. That's why we are now busy campaigning, busy mobilizing, mm -hmm. right? Basically, played his role and he's a good member of the party, right? And <laughs> right? He's a member, <laughs> he's a member of the party, right? Mm -hmm. But we have a leadership mm. that is assigned to do that job. He's a member, he can participate as a member. A anyway. Yes, 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 great. As I said before, you can see. The, the work that is being done in Najanaku just to destroy Besija and put him down. When they went to State House to, to pick the money, he wasn't there. They brought the money to him you were there? in his home. He did not request for the money. And that's when he got the money was offloaded from his the home. The money that in was given. Let me explain this. Uh, please, please. Mm. Let, so, let me explain this. In fact, this. Let, let me that is this. the discussion. I didn't uh, want to go into. Uh, let, let me explain because for this. Me, I am this interested. money they are talking about. But mm. it's now my chance to talk. You've been yes. talking and I've been silent. You've been arranging okay. many things. You give me a chance to answer. Yeah, but we're running short of time, so I'm going yeah. to. Mm. I have only about maybe three minutes. Yes. Or so mm. what I'm please. saying, doctor did not uh, request for any money from them. They brought it from state house. They offloaded it from uh, Honorable Jack Sabis' home. Are you sure? In the trucks. Are you then sure? they packed in the in the in the, now, now, in now, the now sacks she has, yeah, she mm -hmm. and it. delivered to Dr. Besiji's home. He got the money and even wrote serial numbers mm -hmm. and delivered the evidence to the committee that had been established by themselves to rec to, to investigate by the constitution. So, but for us. I said I, don't, I didn't want to go into the details. For us, we are, going, we are looking forward now. Uh, Article 3 of this constitution reads, the headquarters of the party shall be situated in Kampara with branches in districts, constituencies, and such places in Uganda and in the diaspora as the National Executive Committee shall determine. Mm -hmm. Our headquarters is in Kampara, Pro 6. Katonga Road. Mm, that's the we, are, we are members, some are life members, others, we are even recruiting afresh. Mm. We can even take over fresh. power. How, how do you see this inf impacting uh, if you participate in the next election mm. as FDC? How do you see this impacting? Because no, 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 many no. people have been looking at. No, 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 no. Mm. Wait, we are not participating as FDC. Mm. We said, I told you, we have a resolution to dissolve FDC mm. and form a new party. And dissolve. continue to refocus the struggle. 
we can actually take over power without a party. With or without a party, we can take over power. Mm. With without Why offices, <laughs> with without with or without offices, we can still take over power. So that's our mission. We are we want even to ignore these people. We we are not going to to be willing to come back to talk shows with them because they attack individuals. They have nothing to to present. They are working for the dictator. Their mission is to to finish everyone but we have decided but, but many now people watching you are saying you're finishing each other <laughs> no for mm. us we have decided to preserve our history mm. to say that fdc was there they did this and this for example i was talking okay. about i'm afraid you need the to rallies they, we, oh, the rallies they are holding mm. have we ever seen fdc our fdc mm. serving alcohol on rallies <laughs> they are now serving alcohol they are deleting everyone from the party. The party is surrounded by goons. What they are doing, we don't want to be part of it, and that's why we are saying, let's stop here, and let them also go and look for their other headquarters. Let them also go and look for another platform, which they can use instead of distorting our platform. We haven't gone into FDC. what the law provides and how uh, the two groups play mm -hmm. in regard to the law. Jack, submit your conclusion, and then I'll conclude with the Professor. Um, FDC is a strong party. <laughs> it has its structures. We follow the constitution, this constitution. We have a strong leadership, currently under Amriato Boy as the president. And we are now on the move to mobilize. Uh, we have covered parts of North and the East. We are moving to Buganda. Tomorrow we shall be in Busoga. And we shall continue. FDC is for members of FDC. And all members of FDC are requested to help in this struggle to make sure that what, FDC remains FDC. Hmm. No one who has the capacity, has even power, to dissolve this party. If it is to be dissolved, there is a clear article, Article 36, how it should be done. Districts will, should be involved. 80% of every, every, every structure within the district. And up until we move up. And therefore, I wish those who are in Katonga who want to form their own party, please go and form your party. But we would be happy if you changed your mind, come back to FDC, and we continue working together. What's your message to Ugandans watching you? Um, Who are not members of FDC? FDC has a clear ideology where we are, we are going, we are heading, mm. and uh, I request every Ugandan uh, to join FDC so that we remove this, these dictatorial uh, tendencies in our country and we move on. Professor, you close this out. Well, very well. I'm glad that I came to this, this program. Viewers, those of you who have followed this program, you can now see that those who claim that they know where to go for Uganda have to be checked. If a party can't know where it is going, how can it take Uganda anywhere? And when you don't know where you are going, anywhere takes you there. The quarrels, the, the intensity of quarrels and conflict between Katonga and uh, Najanankumbi is enough to show us that we don't have an instrument of problem solving in FDC. And I'm not saying this out of hate. I'm saying it out of analysis and out of the analysis of the history of Uganda. You cannot be like this and face the challenges that face Africa, that face Uganda. If you cannot compromise on issues of who leads what, compromise on what you should do, how can you address the international power wielders. And when I heard that 
uh, very quite clearly here, and you heard it if you have been following, that some people go abroad to get money from there. How can we depend on that kind of support to lead a party that can run the affairs of, of Africa? Gentlemen, ladies, Africa needs more commitment than these struggles, these squabbles describe. I am hoping that the NRM will learn from all these weaknesses and be even stronger so that there is a continuity like we have seen in Tanzania. Nyerere, Nyerere must be recognized not only as a saint in the churches, but also as a, a global leader. And any FDC leaders, whether Katonga or Najanankumbi, read Nyerere's works. Our time is out. Yes. We need to get out of here. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Tassis Bazana Kawajere. Thank you very much, uh, the Honorable Jack Sabiti, Chairman of the Forum for Democratic Change, Najanankumbi. No, not Chairman. Not Chairman. No, no. Thank you very much, uh, the Honorable uh, Ingrid Turinawa. Thank you very much to all our viewers and our <laughs> listeners for joining us this morning. This has been the big talk on Next Radio and NBS TV. For me, uh, I think Kana will be back on uh, Saturday next week. 106.1.